as, as my friend likes to say, you have no idea what happened in that room that you just paid for. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alex, I spell it a really weird way. This video is going to be uh, the first video of a video series here, I'm starting here on my channel, about information of hotels. I wanted to create this series because I wanted to share, you know, information I have, knowledge, and I feel that it would be useful for some people, especially like if you travel a lot or just have basic questions or need, want some information. Anyway, this video is just going to be like the basics, the beginning, the check-in process, things like that, and as you'll see here, I'll upload different videos going specifically into different things, like third parties versus going through the hotel. So, let's just get right into this video. Anyway, hello, my name is Alex, I've worked in hotels for about two years now, and I've also you know friends that have worked in, for hotels for multiple years, so I've also gotten knowledge from them. In the years I've been in hotels, I have worked specifically two jobs. I have worked the front desk and I have also worked in maintenance. Anyway, like I said, I have worked the front desk and maintenance and I feel I have a decent amount of knowledge. I did not think I would be working in hotels. Like if you would have asked me this like three or four years ago, I wouldn't know. I did not think I would be, but here I am working in hotels. <laughs> Crazy world, isn't it? First piece of information I have to give to you is read up on the hotel that you will be staying at. Understand what you're getting into, as my friend has said again, to temporarily live in. Because if you think about it, you're staying in a hotel that is your temporary living space. So know what you're getting into. If Even call and ask if you're not finding what you want to online. Especially look into your hotel and everything. Read reviews, you know, look into it. The amenities, the rooms. Especially if you're one of those people that feel like the hotel is just going to like screw you over. If you don't trust people. Another great thing. Look into where you're going. What are you getting into? Know the room type you want. Know the information about where you're staying. Especially too if you're going like out of city, out of city, out of state, I guess out of city. Um, know the area. Because there are, you know, like everything, there's th hotels and unsafe areas and you know, you want to stay somewhere where you want to stay and feel safe because you will be living there whether for that's just a night for a week for a month people stay in hotels for a lot of time you can have one nighters to even months just know what you're getting into know I think it's self-explanatory <laughs> know what you're getting into look into the place you're staying don't just choose a property because of the name, which has happened. Not all hotels that are owned by the same company, like not all Hyatt's, not all Marriott's, are the same. Hotels can have different policies based on management, based on the issues they have had at that property. A lot can go into it. So just because you had a great experience at one Hyatt, doesn't mean that another one's gonna be the same. There. Just because you had a great experience at one Marriott doesn't mean another one's going to be the same. You know? Which is another reason why you'd want to look into the hotel. Like, oh, you stayed at a, at a Marriott. It was a great time. We're going here. There's a Marriott there. Look into that one to see if that's where you want to stay. If not, there's probably going to be a bunch of other hotels around. So, you know, when you're checking in, you're talking to your friend, girl so you're gonna take back into the room and do whatever you're gonna do in that room and you're not really paying attention to what the hell the desk agent's telling you you hand you they hand you your keys you kind of just like walk away kind of just like done with them and then you call back asking for the Wi-Fi password or what breakfast is or you know all the things we were trying to tell you when you walked away yeah 
Pay attention at check-in. Because that's going to happen. And it has happened. Pay attention with what someone's telling you. Because it's information you would want to know. So pay attention at check-in. We tell you information that you need to know. And verify the information on the reservation. So if you hear that something is wrong, we can fix it. Like we verify how many nights, the room type. When we hand you your keys, we will tell you information that you'd want to know. Like the Wi-Fi password, like places that have complimentary Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi password, breakfast hours, even some amenities that we have. Like if there's a bar, we will tell you the bar hours. If there's breakfast, we'll tell you breakfast hours. And if we're not telling you something that you want to know, ask. And we will answer. Like some places have laundry. If you're interested in that, ask about it. We won't always say every single thing that we have because we know not everyone's interested in that. We'll mostly say the things that you would want and need to know, like Wi-Fi, like breakfast, like if there's a restaurant or a bar, but we know not everyone's going to use the laundry, we know not everyone's going to use the gym, but there are some places where they will tell you everything. They'll tell you breakfast, pool hours, bar hours, restaurant hours, Wi-Fi, the gym, the laundry, they'll tell you everything. And one thing that some desk agents are kind of good at are are reading people, not in like a weird way, but like reading people with the information that you want to know. Like if we see like you're in a rush, you're tired, you just want to get to your room, we'll just tell you the basics. Like, hey, there's the Wi-Fi password, breakfast serves from what time to what time tomorrow, your room's that, you know, shall we tell you where your room is, and then, you know, be on your way. We can kind of gauge that sometimes to not spill everything at you if you don't want to hear it. But don't just like cut us off and walk away because then you're just being kind of rude. Yeah, we'll give you the information you want to know and verify information that, that you should know. Another thing is book the room type that you want. I feel that's also self-explanatory, but we do have people that come in that book, you know, just the basic room and then demand an upgrade. Which we might not have. And then get mad at us because we can't give them an upgrade. So if you book the room type that you want, you're less likely to have that problem happen. I'm not going to say you're 100% likely that your room type will be there. Because, you know, then there's overbooking and there's system issues. But that's a video of its own. But if you book the room type that you want you're more than likely, odds are, with you that you will get that room type. Or like, people will go through third parties, like Expedia, Hotels.com, and they'll book the cheapest room because that's all they want, the cheapest rate. They'll come into the hotel and it's not the room that they wanted. But, they'll, but they want the upgrade to the better room. But all they were after was that cheaper rate. So my advice there is book the room that you want. If you want a room with two beds, book the room with two beds. If you want a room with one bed, book the room with one bed. If you want like how some rooms have can have kitchens in them, book the room with the kitchen. So you at least know that you're paying for what you want. Sometimes, yes, upgrades are available. Yes, they will probably be for a fee. But with upgrades can be available. But they're not always going to be there. But also, pay attention to what you book. Because you may think it was something when it wasn't. Again, it's all about understanding what you're getting into. Double check to make sure you have the right dates. Double check to make sure you have the right property. Double check to make sure it's the correct state for the city. Because we have had someone book for my city when they meant to book in Texas. I don't know how that happened exactly, but it can happen. So double check the information when you're booking the reservation. Again, it's all about knowing what you're getting into, and I feel like I have said that a million times, but it is true. Now at check-in, we will ask everyone for a credit card and an ID. And I know what you're thinking. 
What if we prepaid through a third party? Hotels have an incidental hold. For each hotel, even in a brand, it's different. It could be a certain amount a day, it could be a certain amount for the whole stay. Every hotel is different with their incidental policy. But it's something that hotels have as kind of like a back, not like a backbone, but like, you know, that, that, that guard to where if something were to happen, they have that co coverage there. For each hotel, it is different. And even if you book through a third party, we will need that card on file for the incidentals. Usually, and sometimes, I'm not going to speak for everyone, but some desk agents, when they do this, will say this card will just be for the incidentals. I'm not going to speak for everyone because I've never met every single desk agent in the world. But I know that, like, I do it when I say that, and I see it's prepaid, I'll mention that so you know that we're not going to overcharge on the card or double charge you. So if they don't mention it, mention it. Hey, I prepaid this. We will tell you if you're wrong. <laughs> because it happens where someone will come in thinking they prepaid when they didn't. But if you think that you did, mention it. We will tell you, yes, this will just be for the incidentals. Or we could say, no, it doesn't look like this was prepaid. Do you have the confirmation to show that so that we can make sure you're not getting double charged? Pay attention, know what you're getting into, and yes, even if you're prepaid through a third party, we're going to ask for that credit card or debit card. We're going to ask for that ID. You book the reservation. ID match to know that we're giving the right person the right room. Not all hotels have the same policies. So you could stay at one hotel and they take cash at check-in and will not even need a card. And you could stay at another hotel in that same, like, chain where they don't take cash at check-in. Different managements, different management companies, they do different things. Like, some Hyatts are just Hyatt. That's all they are. They're ran by Hyatt, they're just Hyatt. But then you could have another Hyatt that's run under a separate management company. So yes, they're Hyatt, but then they have different management than that hotel. You could stay at one Marriott, and you could sign a no smoking policy. And you can go stay at another Marriott, they'll just swipe the card, hand you the keys, and you're on your way. Each policy and each hotel has different policies. One that happens a lot is people wanting to pay cash at check-in for the room. Not all hotels have that policy. If you're someone that needs to pay cash upon check-in, make sure you're staying at a hotel that will do that. Don't just assume that because you were able to do it at one Holiday Inn that you'll be able to do it at another. Because management can enforce different policies. There's a difference between hotel policies and then brand standards. Brand standards are something that the, the brand has to follow. The policies are something that management can change. To a certain extent, of course. But not all hotels have the same policy. So make sure if you're someone, like I said, who needs to pay cash at check-in, that you're staying at a hotel where you can pay cash at check-in. I feel like this is the theme of this video, but know what you're getting into. You're spending hundreds, over a hundred dollars, on this room so you should know what you're getting into and not just assume everything will be the way as at, an, uh, as at a different hotel or another hotel because even within the same brand the hotels are different there's different management there's different people there's different policies not all hotels in the same brand are the same know what you're spending your money on like you wouldn't buy a new car because your friend says that car is awesome you would look into that car yourself because you know you're going to be the one driving it. That is it for this video. I feel like I've covered the basic information and just overall generalness. Like I said, I feel like the theme of this video is know what you're getting into. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. I would be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys will enjoy this series. And I am excited to put more helpful videos out like this and maybe some videos with just crazy stories as well. Let me know what you guys think down below and of course any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching 
and I'll see you guys next time. About I keep messing with the strand pair, and there's this one. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. This is the second time I'm filming this. I actually deleted all the footage the first time, but that's okay. I can ramble. Those are the people we laugh about. We're like, <laughs> this guy. What if you prepay th through a third of the <laughs>